leader. The boss isn't going to be happy. It's fine. Everything's fine. Hey, leader. Eh. Oh. Hey, guys. Who's your friend? Leader, it's me, reviewer. <laughs> what happened? Today's magic lesson was about curses. Specifically, natural curses. So, Roland decided we should take a field trip to the springs of Juzenkyo. Ah, and you fell into the spring of Drowned Girl? No, leader! I woke up with a magic bracelet on my wrist and became a camphor. Yes, I fell into the spring of the Drowned Girl! Okay, okay. Don't mind her, leader. She's just cold and cranky. Stop that! Look, I just want to go inside, take a nice hot shower, and forget this whole thing ever. Leader? Why is the hat all tarped? Oh, right. We may have a slight firefly infestation. Well, fireflies aren't too bad. No, I mean actual fireflies. Like, if not for the damage control enchantment, the whole building would be a pile of ash by now. Me, 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 me! Don't worry, we got exterminators in there right now. Should be about... another half hour or so. Uh, fine. May as well do a review while we're waiting. Are you sure you want a review in... this state? Eh, Internet loves some good Rule 63 action. Mary, once the house is open, I'm going to need something to help me forget all this. Yes, ma'am! <laughs> this is going to be my whole day, isn't it? Me, me, me! Chasing the stars will stride into the dark Never back down Till the battle is won They see foe With hearts brave and true Unafraid of the unknown Because I'll face it all with you Hello! I'm the Review Reviewer. You review it, I review you. This is my partner, Mr. It. Well, given my current condition, Let's take a look at Eye of Soul's review of Ranma One Half, Big Trouble in Nekon Ron, China. And I have a serious question for you. Do you think I would review better as a boy? No, I'm not trying to spark a debate about the ethics of sex change. I'm just curious to know if you would enjoy this review more if I was a boy. I know I'd enjoy this review more if I was a boy. Oh, fantastic. I'm gonna be some 150 episodes out of the loop here on this review. Last time that happened, I got verbally crucified for being a, quote, dumb bitch who don't know dem Pokemons. Sad part is, I'm sure that's one of the more tame comments she got. Like I said, the movie doesn't really have a good relationship with its story, and instead chooses to frenetically dash around like a coked up toddler. You know what needs to be done then? Get just as coked up and have fun with it. There's Ranma Saotome, the protagonist, whose big defining feature is that whenever he touches cold water, he turns into a girl, and back to a boy again when he touches hot water. So, what happens if he touches lukewarm water? Does he become a hermaphrodite? Hey, let's not! And even in his female form, his personality is exactly the same. Yeah, because the curse just changes his physical form, not who he actually is! Haposai is probably the most annoying character in this movie. Maybe all of anime in general. That is... Um, entirely accurate. And there's also... Actually, you know what, never mind. None of the other characters are important enough to talk about, and they just tag along on the journey for funsies and not much else. Well, they're also part of the main cast for the show. You know, maybe I'd be more invested in these characters if the movie took five seconds out of its busy screaming schedule to establish any of them. And I know what you're gonna say. Well, watch the anime series and then you'll get to know the characters and then you won't need establishment. Well, here's the thing about that. 
Movies need to entertain both newcomers and veterans of the series. And if it can't do that, well, it's just insulting to the viewer. Eh, I'm of two minds on that. Yeah, in order for a movie to be successful, it needs to be accessible to newcomers. But on the other hand, it is apparently a direct sequel to the series. So in a way, watching this without watching the show is like watching, say, Endgame without watching the rest of the MCU. The movie says it has some trouble-like events going down in Necaron, China, and though I'd like to say it does, the truth is the trouble only occurs in Necaron for about 10 minutes, whereas the rest of the trouble commences on a blimp. Is it still in Necaron airspace? This whole movie acts like one excruciatingly long manzai act, but instead of the bokeh being the characters themselves, the bokeh are us, getting smacked upside the head with bad comedy. Props to anyone out there who got that statement. Fist bump, bros! Wow! That was incredibly awkward. Number six. Climaxes are for giraffes and pedophiles! Rush on through it! Not that it has plot diarrhea, no, because it needs to have a plot in order to have diarrhea. That's a visual I needed to see. Half an eye out of five. This is the greatest way to deliver a rating I've ever seen! Overall, this review is fine! The biggest thing I have to give Sol credit for is that while she clearly didn't like this movie, she doesn't ignore the idea that Ranmath fans may very well legitimately enjoy it. She makes it clear that she's looking at it from the perspective of a general moviegoer. And that's okay! I say check it out! Now if you'll excuse me, I need to see about getting back to normal. Viewer, can I talk to you? For the last time, I'm not putting on a maid outfit! I'm being serious. Alright, what's up? It's about Mary. I can't quite explain what it is, but I sense a great darkness in her. What do you mean? I can't say for sure, but if this darkness goes unchecked, she could be very dangerous. Hmm. Alright, let's keep an eye on her. Oh no! It's happening again! I'm gonna be fired again! I know it! What can I do? Maybe... No... Well... M maybe just once? <laughs> <laughs>